What's good, man? It's your boy Tico, guys. Current Gen G's, we are back. Back with NBA 2K21 Current Gen updates today with your boy Tico. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new, if you're a current Gen player, NBA 2K21. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, guys, to be notified when these videos drop because I'm going to be dropping all the new and latest news as soon as possible if I hear something. And also, don't forget to hit that like button because it helps us out in the algorithm to get to the next level, keep growing, and get the current gen gang bigger. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's topics in NBA 2K21 updates today. We're going to start with the start today option being unavailable. This is another day that the start today option is not available. Available when the 2020-2021 season begins. Start today is currently unavailable. Bruh. I'm having people in the comment section below continuously, consistently ask me what happens to start today. Why start today not working, Tico? Okay, guys, this is the problem. The issue is no one is in the offices. I think I've said this plenty of times on the channel and previous videos that no one's in the offices nor the studios to hear, sit here and push out the updates, you know what I'm saying, to the game. So that's just a crazy thing, man. We don't have anybody there to do that. And I know it's weird because if you go and look, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just take you live. We're going to go right live and direct, right? So let's go to roster, create roster. We're gonna go into NBA. We're gonna go into official 2K Sports roster. Now, I know two things that happened in NBA basketball, which is the past few days, is that we lost two great players uh, a few days ago. One by the name of who? Who did we lose? Spencer Dinwiddie. Bruh. I don't see anything happen. So we ain't even got a roster update. Next Gen ain't got the roster update. Bruh. Current Gen ain't got the roster update. Bruh. So Dinwiddie is out. I think he tore ACL or something like that. Let me know in the comment section below if y'all know exactly what happened to Spencer Dinwiddie. But we don't got Spencer Dinwiddie, like, we don't got him in real life. He's gone. He's injured. 2K didn't update it. You can even go to your current gen consoles and see if 2K updated the rosters. The, uh, the rosters are not updated, right? So that's how I know we got an issue going on and that no one's in the offices to go ahead and push these updates out. They try to do as much as they could before they went on Christmas break but they didn't get to do everything they needed to do. So that's how you know we're going to get a hell of an update. Another thing is the Memphis Grizzlies. We lost Ja Morant yesterday. Ja Morant is still looking good. You got a fresh, healthy Ja Morant in the current rosters right now. We don't have a brand new injured Ja Morant. We got the fresh Ja Morant, so we ain't got a roster update. Bruh. So for everything that you see that's not fixed, it's not fixed. So let's go ahead and cancel out, get out of here. Now, I want to go ahead and go over another thing is the created roster that I created with everything. Now, the last video I put out, I kind of went, you know, over everything where you guys could see the detail and see what was changed because I feel like 2K, are, they are so behind when it comes to accessory fixes and ratings and stuff like that with everything. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and go to LaMelo updated rosters. I'm gonna go ahead and click into that. Now, these are some things you're gonna see that you know that's changed if you do watch basketball. If you're a basketball connoisseur, you're gonna know. So the first team I'm gonna go to from what I've updated, is my boy Dennis Schroeder. You go into the editor, headband. Dennis Schroeder is wearing, is wearing a headband right now. It was the actual game where they had the Los Angeles Lakers, the blue with the cursive writing, the Lakers jerseys, where his headband was debuted, right? So I actually saw that game. I went in and I edited and added a headband to Dennis Schroeder and it was debuted, right? But if you go to shoes and gear, boom. Both sleeves, you got your long sleeve, you got your shoes and your headband, boom. Brand new Dennis Schroeder in the game. We in there, right? That's what I want 2K to do is actually keep up with the updates where we can have everything on point to when even a slight accessory changes, we can have it. If you look on the Wish jersey right here, you see Wish. It's actually something else added to the Wish jersey. I think it's like a Wish shopping or something like that. That's the patch we're supposed to have. Current Gen don't even have a Wish shopping patch. So I'm trying to tell you right now, when they get back into the offices tomorrow, which they everybody started to make their way back to the offices tomorrow, We'll start seeing updates as soon as possible. Just leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you want to see fixed in 2K, what you want to be updated in 2K, because we still got city jerseys that are not fixed. We still got city freaking jersey patches that are not fixed. We got city edition courts that are not in the game. We don't even have the New York Knicks court yet. We don't even have the New York Knicks jerseys yet, right? New York Knicks jersey has been in the uh, actual other version of 2K for about a week now. They've had it for about a week, so... We will get these things. They're not just going to give up on current gen like that. They can't do that because it's so many of the current gen Gs and the current gen gang is so deep right now. 
everybody don't got the money to actually get a next gen console. Everybody ain't rich like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing. I'm just kind of passionate about it, guys, because I feel like uh, it, it seems like we're being looked over, but no one's literally in the studios right now. Nobody's in there to do nothing. So when they get back in there, then we can start hold, holding them accountable for everything. But one thing I did notice too, with Montrez Harrell, he got a headband and he got another sleeve. So if you look at, let's see right here, the Nike forearm sleeve, black swoosh. Uh, let's go to left arm. And let's add that right now. The forearm band, the forearm band, hurry up. Black swoosh, boom. So he's running on both hands now. So you might as well go ahead and keep that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that right now because I'm updating rosters as we go. So keep changes in return. Um, what else was updated? Another player that was updated that I was watching was Karis LeVert. So we go to the Nets. I was actually starting to work on that when I was watching him. So Karis LeVert has actually been having a pretty, pretty good season so far for the, for the first few games we've been having, which is Harris way longer than this. So we need an actual update for Karis LeVert. He's not even updated on next gen. So be on the lookout for just tons of updates, tons of accessory fixes, courts, jerseys, etc. So let's go ahead and go to accessories. As you can see, I got the forearm band right here. I got the forearm band on Karis LeVert. This is what he's wearing right now. Boom. All right. Now, as far as his leg, what is this right here? I think I messed that up. We're just going to go as we go. Lower, lower body, left ankle. We can lead a, I don't know if he's wearing braces. Let's see, ankle brace. I think I'm tripping right now. Let's see where we at. Um, calf sleeve. He actually does wear a calf sleeve, but it's like the, uh, it's not that one. It's like too bigger. It may be this one right here. I think this is all they got, the closest they got to it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on there, all right, cool. But that's what uh, Karis, Levert, Karis Levert has. And I know you guys wanna know how to actually do the headband, the headband fix. So I'm gonna do that too as well. I might make that a whole separate video since we're just talking about updates. But let's go ahead and get out of this, say roster. Lamella updated rosters, done. Go ahead and get that popping, but yeah. That's where we at with it now, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into a game and show you guys what it's looking like too as well what this whole roster thing is looking like. All right, we're gonna keep the Lakers, we're gonna keep the Nets. Let's go into user created, the mellow updated rosters. And let's go ahead and go into get Lakers. I'm gonna show y'all exactly what this look like. I know if y'all basketball fans, y'all gonna know exactly what this stuff looks like. Like from off top, y'all gonna know what it's like. All right, so let's go ahead and go up. Let's go to the blues. Which, which shopping should be the patch, bro? And these still are not fixed yet. They gotta fix these jerseys, man. So when they come back in there, they gotta get that done. All right, so let's go ahead and go to headband white, arm sleeve white, leg accessories white. The socks, I don't see any changes. I think we need to get, that's a fix. We gonna need a fix on this too, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit hit Constance and everybody up on that side and see what we can do to get a fix on that because that, that needs to be fixed, bro. I've, I'm seeing some slacking going on, you know? Uh, as far as Brooklyn, let's go to the city. And let's see, black, black is cool. All right, big bit, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and just let that do that. And I wanna go ahead and show y'all some gameplay and some updated accessories and all that where y'all can see exactly what I did. I will put these rosters out on both consoles. I'm gonna end up probably picking up the PS4 version probably tomorrow and starting with a brand new base roster. So when they change the base roster, when they actually update the base roster, I'm gonna use the base roster and then just update everything from that base roster because I want you guys to get the latest and greatest experience out of NBA 2K Current Gen, as far as rosters, accessories, ratings, um, whatever I can fix for you guys to get, that's exactly what I'm gonna do for y'all, man. So with that being said, here's a little gameplay of my updated rosters. Uh, I didn't take Spencer Dinwiddie out, not yet, but of updated rosters, updated accessories, headbands, all the things that are like in the NBA for real, that's exactly what I did. So check it out. I'm gonna let y'all get a little bit of the gameplay and I'll be back. I'm gonna work on the other video for y'all now with the headband, like edits and stuff like that. Where y'all can fix y'all own rosters or do what y'all wanna do with y'all own games. So with that being said, current GNGs, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when the videos drop. Y'all always wanna know when the current updates happen or if we can do something to fix the game to make it better. And don't forget to hit that like button because if you hit the like button, it helps us in the algorithm. Team Tico, current GNGs, my current Gen 2K community. We're gonna continue to grow and we're gonna make our voice heard so 2K can hear us so we can get our game fixed. Anyway, it's your boy Tico. Y'all have a blessed one. Enjoy the gameplay. Peace.
in some of those smaller markets as well. It's just a harsh reality of pro sport. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. And that one falls coming off of Davis' speed. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. Irving looking over the floor. KD on the wing. Shot clock at five. Lots of room. Allen controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. A superb offensive rebounder. Allen's long arms and feel for how to get positioning helps big time. Now here is Davis. Who's coming off a 13-point game against Portland. Yeah, but it wasn't all about himself. I mean, he kept everybody else in the loop. His passing was tremendous. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. KD passes to Allen. Irving with the ball. Picked up by Davis. And the shot goes down. Love how Irving mixes it up. Outside, inside. He's effective at playing to his strengths. 